Vice President Sun Jinren held a media tea party on Thursday for the first and the last time since taking office. COVID-19 dominated the discussion and the Vice President took time to critique what he sees as a preoccupation with politics in the World Health Organization. He spoke about his plans for life after office, saying he will return to his epidemiology research at Academia Sinica. He plans to forgo his special privileges as former Vice President, preferring the simple life of an academic. I thank you all for giving me the best possible gift as I leave office, that is, a success in handling COVID-19. In just one week, Chen will be a former vice president of Taiwan. But for now, his duties come first. At this media event, his top priority was advocating best practices for combating the epidemic. The whole nation has developed good hygiene practices. We're willing to isolate ourselves at home. We're willing to take care of our own health. And most importantly, we're willing to sacrifice our egos to serve the whole. The state and the people, the central and local governments, and the epidemic control teams and bailout teams, we've all worked together. That's really the most crucial key to Taiwan's successful epidemic management. Chen said he was grateful that the SARS epidemic had taught Taiwan how to handle COVID-19. This was the first and only media tea party held by Vice President Chen, and the room was packed out as he played a special video of thanks to mark the end of his term. He has probably been the busiest vice president in our history. He's professional, sincere, warm and selfless. Everyone likes him. He is utterly committed to fulfilling his responsibility and balks at no difficulty. He's my most important work partner. After Inauguration Day, Chen's heading back to his old work at Academia Sinica. There, he can devote himself once more to epidemiology. Research is a bit like the manga Case Closed when Detective Conan finishes a particularly trying murder case. I really like the excitement when you find the answer. I have to be honest, I really like that. As Taiwan's research becomes more and more excellent, collaborators will be coming to us from all over the world, like in the research I was involved with previously. In order to take up his research work, Chen will be the first vice president in Taiwan to give up his special retirement perks, including a lifetime monthly stipend of 180,000 NT and a special office. Reporters next asked Chen to comment on the World Health Organization. Politics has made Taiwan's 23 million citizens orphans in the global health community. The WHO is overly preoccupied with the political aspect of things and has lost sight of its professional side and its neutrality. I think this is truly regrettable. That parting admonition is just one of Chen's legacies. Having completed many of his goals in office, he can now retire happily to his first love, the lab, and continue his medical work there. If the country should need him, he's just on the end of the phone.